Hello everybody, my name is Insprasper, and welcome back to my Launchpad Light Effect tutorial series. This is my third installment, but there's not really any order to it. Each time I just kind of make a new uh, effect, as some of you may know. So we're going to pick this up again, and today I will be te teaching you guys how to make this light effect. Which you can use to make other light effects like this. Or even if you get creative with how you use it, something like that. So here it is again, I will teach you how to make this. It's pretty simple once you get it down, but it can look a bit confusing at first. So we're gonna jump right into it. I've already made another MIDI uh, track right here, this green one, this teal color, and we're gonna use this one to actually make our effect. This one was just to showcase what, what we're uh, gonna make. So I'm gonna solo this track just so we don't get any interference with the other one. We're gonna jump right into it. And you can follow along and I'll make this effect. Um, so while I'm making this, I'm going to give a shout out to Ramses and Zenity for teaching me a really useful uh, you know, tip on how to make quicker light effects. So one thing you can do is you can touch any button you want. And I think I forgot to arm this. There we go. So make sure your recording is armed. So you can touch any buttons you want. And then you can hit the right arrow key on your computer, and it will automatically draw in those notes for you, just like that. Which I think is uh, very helpful. Thank you guys for pointing that out to me. I had no idea that was a thing. Uh, super useful. So I'll be using that in this uh, tutorial when I follow along, or when you follow along. You'll notice that that's what I'll be I'll be doing. So we're gonna make that effect I showed you at the beginning. We're gonna start off using these four diagonal buttons. It can be any four of the diagonal. You can start anywhere you want. There's no, uh, there's no restrictions. You can this is, you can tweak this however you like. But I'll start down here on these four. I'll hold these down and then draw them in, just like that. Again, I'm using the, I hold them down and press the right arrow key. So then now that I have these four lit up, all I'm gonna do is move my pinky up so that these two are touching. And again, I'm gonna hit the right arrow key. And then I'm going to move these two fingers up to here so that these three are lined up. And then again, I'm going to move these three up to these so now that we have a straight line. So right now we have this. It kind of looks like it's collapsing. And then all we do from here is we move up from where we left off of these four. We're going to move up to these four. Draw those in. And then now we're going to kind of reverse the pattern where we're going to keep this finger static. And then we're going to move these three up draw that in and then again these two once we hit the diagonal we keep the we stay with the diagonal but if you're not a diagonal you keep moving up and then do that again so basically it's like this effect or sorry if we start right here it's like this button moved all the way up to here without stopping this button moved all the way up to here but once I got to this diagonal it stopped and this button moved up to here it stopped and this one moved up to here but only when every button uh, lined up with them. So they moved as a row, if that makes any sense. So it looks like that. It looks kind of smooth and nice. And then we're going to do the same thing from here, moving over to here. So picture what we just made from this diagonal to this diagonal. We're going to make over here. So I'm going to do this one a little bit quicker. So I move this over to here, draw that in, move these two, three, move the whole row, three, two, one. So you can slow that down if you want to, if it, you need to follow along, but it basically it looks like this. And there you have it, that's really all that uh, I planned on making, but like I said earlier, you can kind of get creative with how you manipulate or like twist these, uh, these effects. You could copy this, paste it, inverse it, and then slap this on at the very end so it connects. So that way it makes a full rotation. Which looks pretty neat. Maybe that can uh, fit an effect you had in mind or something. Uh, you can slow it down. Or, sorry, speed it up, I meant. Make the, the length shorter. You can, you know, change the colors, do whatever you want. You can take this right now, copy, paste it inverse it, slap it at the beginning, so that way you have 
this one giving a full rotation, but then you also have this one. So it looks like two arms rotating. And then you can, you know, copy this twice, reverse it, and then paste that reversing over top of it or something to get a weird effect that looks like this. I made this, you know, a couple minutes before I started this recording and I thought it looks pretty neat. So yeah, you can just get creative with it. That's all I really had in mind. Again, I was just going to show you guys these, you know, an arm that moves across and then, you know, two arms and that weird effect I just showed you. You can kind of get creative with it. So that should be it for uh, this today's light effect or this. Yeah, that should be it <laughs> for today's light effect. Uh, now that I'm, you know, home for the summer and done with school, I plan on trying to put these out more often. If you guys, you know, like them enough, uh, let me know. And then again, be sure to leave a comment if you have a specific request for a light effect because I don't necessarily have many in mind. I'm just kind of going off of what other people have been requesting. So if you want a specific effect, like this or something, uh, just let me know. Uh, try and point out a part in a video. Say like, oh, this light effect at a minute 30. You know, kind of like that. Otherwise, I won't really know if you try to describe it. Because sometimes these can be hard to describe. So that should be it. Again, thank you all for watching. I hope this helped. If you want to use it, go ahead, use it in one of your videos. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. See ya.